welcome back to my channel if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe please there's a little red button at the bottom of this video it's written subscribe please click it and that will mean so so much to me let's get on with this video like i said in my last video we're going to be talking about acne and hyperpigmentation and stuff related to that I noticed that um, the previous product I was using, they they worked. So they actually worked a bit, but it kind of like the effects kind of plateaued. Like they weren't really doing much anymore. So I was like, let me just change the product I'm using. So I bought a few products about a week ago. So I just want to share them with you guys. A little backstory: I have serious hyperpigmentation. Like my body scars darkly my face my body just is actually so annoying that any little injury any little scratch even if it's just a bruise it leaves a dark scar like about let's say a month or two ago i was wearing a long sleeve shirt my arm kind of brushed against a door and my skin didn't break or it didn't bleed it didn't cut or anything it was more like a bruise and it left back a scar so let me show you guys what i'm talking about i just hope you guys can see it oh the camera catches it it's here so there was no cut there was no bleeding my skin didn't break but it left back a scar and uh, it's actually so annoying so that's the kind of thing that i'm dealing with with my skin same thing with my face any little pimple leaves a dark scar so underneath all this makeup here I, i'll put the picture in the thumbnail so that you guys can see i'm not going to put a video out yet until it's actually better so i'll just do like a before and after but for now i'll just put a picture so that you guys will see what is under my makeup so any little acne leaves a scar a very dark scar it's actually so annoying to the point that i can not actually well i can't leave my house without makeup sha but i don't know people that are used to seeing me with makeup they'll just be looking at me they'll be like wow they'll just be looking at me first of all it's, it's not even like oh my god wow what happened to your skin no it's more like literally shock first of all people that are used to seeing me with foundation and not much makeup everywhere else they're like ah, ah what happened to your skin i do not want to be wearing foundation every day so i bought a few products um, after doing a bit of research um, this is not all though more is coming in but so let me show you guys the first set of products I bought. so let's get on with it first product is Garnier micellar cleansing gel wash hope you guys can see it um, I've been hearing of micellar water micellar water micellar water I'm like okay water micellar water people say it works but I don't know me I'm a skeptical person I was like why would I buy water as my cleanser I'm not going to buy water as my cleanser so when i saw this um cleansing gel wash micellar technology i was like okay maybe it might work so um i've been using it for like five days it feels so good on my skin it feels so smooth it doesn't feel too soapy it doesn't feel too soapy it feels like it just glides on and it actually removes makeup with one wash i would wet my face and wet my hands apply the gel and just like rub it on my face and on my neck and it actually really really works because with one wash my makeup is gone so yeah it does work it's basically just soap um, cleansing ingredients um, the only interesting ingredients here is actually grapefruit juice basically then some other stuff but it's actually really good it feels really good and it works like it leaves my face feeling so refreshed and why i know that it cleans makeup in just one wash because after using normally my former soap i was using it was a bar soap and i said bar soap is not really good so i just changed to a cleansing gel wash after using the bar soap on my face because i don't scrub my face because of my acne and hyperpigmentation my former soap after using it i'll use my toner and my cotton pad and i'll see i'll still see a little bit of makeup in it but with this i actually don't see makeup in it after um when i'm using my toner so that's how i know that it works next product is toner from the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution seven percent glycolic acid from the ordinary 
it has ingredients that are that seem nice so many oils and stuff i write that in my blog post i'm going to put a blog post a more detailed blog post the link is at the description box of this video so please click the link and read more on this product that i bought so this toner yeah Ooh, i love this one this toner contains seven percent glycolic acid the first time i applied it it's kind of stung a little bit I was kind of expecting it because it's 7% um, alpha hydroxyl acid. It's it is AHA. It's 7% AHA. So I was expecting it. But it stung just a little bit, just for a few seconds. But that was after the first application. And I applied it on my face and on my neck. So after the first application, on the second day, it actually didn't have that effect anymore. So yeah, it's actually quite good. It feels good on the skin. There's no alcohol, so it's not drying. My former um, cleanser was a salicylic acid. My former toner, sorry, was a salicylic acid toner, and it had a little bit of alcohol. So I, it said alcohol is actually not good for the skin, so I stopped using that one. So this doesn't have any alcohol. It feels good on the skin. So that's that. Glycolic acid from the ordinary. Next up, we have this um, is a product. It's called Dr. Rochelle. It has arbutin and it's basically arbutin and niacinamide. So um, I read that arbutin is good for scarring. It's better than all the generic um, products out there for hyperpigmentation and scarring and dark spots and whatever. It's, it's actually a skin lightening product, but the thing about our routine is it doesn't like it doesn't bleach your skin actually it evens out your skin tone so what i read it's kind of targets like discoloration hyperpigmentation scarring and, and the rest but doesn't like change your skin tone and that was what i was looking for because i've used skin lightening products in the past and what i've noticed there let's say for the first week it will actually try to work like i'll see a little improvement but after consequent uses i'll notice that it's just lightening my skin it's not even doing anything to my spots and it's actually so annoying because i'll have light face and then my spots will be so dark i just had to stop so the product is called dr rachelle whitening face spots honestly when i saw this product because I was looking for something that like has at least because I know arbutin and niacinamide are like good for what I'm trying to achieve. But I was seeing either or either niacinamide or um, arbutin, and I'm not really a product junkie because I don't like to apply too much things on my face. My skincare routine, I wouldn't want it to be too many steps because honestly, I do not have. I neither do I have the patience to have like because I see many youtubers have like 10 step makeup routine or five steps or 20 steps honestly like I can't do it I'm I'm like a three step four step girl cleanser toner serum and or moisturizer that is it I can't do more than four steps honestly so I was like okay this is the only product I saw on the online site that I bought these things that had two of um, the substances I'm looking for in one, one um, product. When I saw this whitening face spot serum, I was like, Jesus, they didn't even say lightening. They didn't say toning. They didn't say brightening. They said whitening. I was like, I do not want to have a white face. I don't want to look like a ghost. So I actually looked at um, reviews on this product, on this product, this Dr. Rochelle product. And they actually said it does not lighten your skin, it doesn't bleach your skin, it doesn't whiten your skin. It actually just tones and evens out the skin. I, re I watch reviews, I read reviews. So I was like, why, why the hell would they put whitening in the first place? I think it's just a marketing ploy because I think many cultures, many girls, they want to whiten their skin, they want to lighten their skin. So I think they put, it's an Asian product, so you know, they put it so that people will buy but it actually doesn't lighten the skin doesn't whiten the skin so i was like okay you know what me i've tried too many things let me try this and see if it works it's a water-based serum it feels very good on my skin it feels really smooth and it doesn't irritate my skin at all 
I've used it for the, for the past five days. I'm not noticing any whitening effects. What I'm noticing is my skin is, my skin just feels so good. I think it's, I don't think it's maybe just from one product. It's like from a combination of all the products. So let me just show you all of them before I tell you like how I felt after using it for the past few days. So yeah, this, Arbutin Niacinamide. Next product, Pure Arbutin Powder. This is 10 grams of Pure Arbutin. Why I bought this, I because of my skin, not just my facial skin, but my body skin. Uh, yeah, there's hyperpigmentation there as well. So I bought this to mix with my body cream. So I carefully mixed it. So I use Palmas Cocoa Butter Body Cream. That's I've used this body cream since I was like 14 years old. I've not used any other body cream. It really, really works for me. So I mix the Arbutin powder with my Palmer's cocoa butter cream and um, have I noticed any effects? I don't know. Although I rub it all over my body, so my body feels really, really good, and I've not noticed any irritation of any sort. But this is just less than a week, so but that's what I do, sure. I mix the two. And last but not the least is the ordinary retinol one percent in squalene. So um, yeah, they said retinol is actually really good for um, scarring. It's good for skin rejuvenation, skin renewal. Uh, they said it works well for um, anti-aging and also acne scars. It evens out like uneven skin, like physically uneven skin texture. So texture um, disruptions due to scarring due to aging, wrinkles, and the rest. They said it really, really works. But what I read there, I actually had already ordered this product before I read it and I was like, oh my God, oops. They said, uh, I've never rubbed retinol in my life before. They said you should not start with a high percentage retinol. So on the site here, I was seeing 0.2%, 0.5%, 1%, and they were all the same price. So I was like, why would I buy 0.2% for this amount when they are selling 1% for this amount? So I, I ordered 1% and they said it will irritate your skin. You're not supposed to start with 1%. So I was like, God, what do I do? So how I apply retinol eh, is I put very, very little. I, I use my cleanser, then my toner, then my serum, then the retinol. I use the applicator and I drop just on this cheek. My forehead, this cheek, and my jaw. Oh, I'm sorry, my chin. And then I rub it in. I try to avoid my eyes and around my mouth, like they said, because it might um, it might peel my skin. What I've noticed from using one percent um, retinol is that it hasn't it hasn't irritated my skin. It hasn't peeled my skin. I don't feel any any sort of way. Maybe it's because I rub it after my serum. I don't know, but I haven't even I've rubbed it before my serum once and. It didn't irritate my skin. I didn't feel my skin hasn't peeled so far. Maybe because my skin has literally taken a beating from all the products I've been using on my skin. So it's kind of like tough. Who knows? But it hasn't actually irritated my skin. In general, while using all these products, what have I noticed? Oh my god, I think I think it's working. This it's not just a coincidence actually. I think these products are really, really working because what I've noticed is number one, my skin texture is so smooth. This cheek is the one that has more, more acne, more acne scars. I don't know why. Maybe because I tend to lie more on this side, who knows? But I've noticed that the texture is so smooth, very, very smooth. I've noticed that my pores, like I've had a few open pores blocked pores. I've noticed that my pores are clearing up. Um, I don't use a moisturizer actually. I don't use a cream on my face. Maybe that also contributes to all this. I've stopped using face cream. So it's more like a serum. I'm not. I'm more like a serum kind of girl now. And I've noticed that my pores are smooth. Like my skin. If I don't know how they describe porcelain skin, but based on my understanding of porcelain skin, my skin is now porcelain skin. It feels so smooth. Um, and I don't know if it's just my eyes though that I seeing it, but I think my scars are clearing up. I've noticed that. I don't know, my skin just feels renewed. I don't know. I think it's really, really working. All these products together, I think it's working. And 
I'm going to be showing you guys like the progress videos. I'm going, what I will do, I'll shoot progress videos. Let's say after one week of using the product, after two weeks, after a month, after two months. Hopefully, let's say within less than three months of using this product, I'll be able to see a very big positive change. And I'll do a video like a progress, progress video on the effects of this product on my skin. So if you're interested in that kind of content, even if you're not interested in that kind of content, please support my journey to better, brighter, smoother, flawless skin and subscribe. Once again, subscribe. Please like this video. Say something in the comments like um, products on the products that I bought. If there's something maybe I shouldn't have gotten. If you've had any like experiences with this product. If there's something that I forgot to get as well, please say something in the comment section, um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.